Okay, so welcome to the C1 class, and today it, we'll be covering Unit 2 on uh, the topic of uh, well-being. We'll learn some vocabulary, and today we're going to practice a lot of listening skills, okay? So it's going to be good. Okay. Thanks for joining us. <clears throat> okay. So there we are. Um, that's what we're going to do for today. Uh, we're going to do vocabulary, life skills, and well-being as well. well. We'll work on some book pages. Uh, for you guys today on this uh, session, okay? So, uh, to do the to do our to do list for today is what is well being to you? Uh, we'll learn some well being vocabulary. We're gonna watch a little video and some listening comprehension. You guys will will learn new words, obviously, uh, in regards to talking about well being. And you're gonna watch a video and you're gonna practice your listening so you guys can fine tune that as well. Uh, we'll take a look at some uh, activities, and we'll talk a little bit about the schwa, the schwa sound, and we'll do our takeaways for today. So basically, that's what we're going to cover. We'll start with the concept of uh, what is well-being to you? What is well-being? Uh, but first, let's read a little definition. Um, what is, the, what is well-being? Let's see. Well-being is an adjective. And uh, let's see what this definition is about. Um, let's see. Let's ask somebody to read. Let's see. Lourdes, could you help us with this slide, please? Okay, just give me a minute, please. Sure, my pleasure. Okay, what is well-being to you? Well-being yeah. is the experience of health, happiness, and prosperity. prosperity. It includes mm -hmm. prosperity. Okay, thank you. Thank it you. includes having good mental health, high life satisfaction, a sense of meaning, Okay, sorry, but uh, something happened. Okay, thank you. A oh, meaning of purpose and ability to manage stress. More generally, well being is just feeling well. That's correct. Thank you very much. Uh, well being is basically just about feeling well, right, guys? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, basically, that's the co concept of well being. This word is prosperity. Thank you. Prosperity. 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 That's correct. Prosperity. Okay. Very Thank good. Thank you. Prosperity. There you, there you go. Okay, Lucy, are you on the line? Are you with us? Yes. Right, yeah. Yeah, I'm here. Welcome aboard. Uh, we're talking about Hi. what is the concept of well-being. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Can you help us out with the next slide, Mario? This one here. Absolutely, sir. Thanks. Well-being is defined by the Oxford English Dictionary as the state of being comfortable, healthy, or happy. However, it is important to realize that well-being is a much broader concept than moment-to-moment -moment happiness. While it does include happiness, it also includes other things such as uh, their sense. No, I'm sorry. Such as such as how satisfied people are with their life, a whole, their sense of purpose, and how it control they feel. The, the new economics foundation describes well-being as the following. Thank you, Mario. It's down below. This is the concept, Mary. This one down here. May I read it? Yes, please go ahead. Okay. The, um, well being can be under, understood as how people feel and how they function, both on a personal and a, in a social level, and how they evaluate their lives as a whole. Thanks a lot, Marito. Nice reading, okay? Can we say this one? Evaluate. Evaluate. You got it. Okay, great. Thank you. So um, pretty much um, that's the concept of what well-being is. It can be understood as how people feel and how they function, both personal and, and, and in a social level, and how they evaluate their lives in a whole. Um, it's about the state of being comfortable, right? Being comfortable. <laughs> being healthy, and of course, being happy, okay? So that's what well-being is defined. 
Um, on a little note, I was doing some research um, just like a, a day ago or two on the topic about well-being, and I ran into this um, well-being test. There's a test here about um, to see to measure how how um, to measure the kind of well-beingness that you have. Okay, we're gonna have a guest. Her name is Karen. She's joining us for a test lesson today. So welcome aboard, Karen. This is Miss Lee. Les saludo a Teacher Emerson. Bienvenida a la sesión. Okay. So uh, she's going to be connecting with us in just a second. All right. Okay. So as I was saying, um, I took a test online. Um, this uh, university called Bailey University um, did a test, a free test, and uh, it was pretty good. Um, yeah. I discovered my level of well beingness. And um, well being, according to psychology, um, is self confidence happiness, uh, happiness plan, positive thinking, obviously, right? <laughs> um, yeah. uh -huh. Healthy relationships, work-life balance, emotional resilience. Uh, that means that how well can we cope with, uh, with controlling our emotions and emotional intelligence, right? Self-awareness, to be aware of how we are, uh, in reality, to our surroundings and towards ourselves, personal development, if we're like studying or continue to learning new things or things like that, life purpose, what is our purpose in life, and of course, kindness. This is, I'm going to share with you my, my test results. These are mine. Test results. <laughs> so I'm very, I'm satisfied because I think self-confidence was one of the highest. So I'm very proud of myself for that. Uh, I do feel that I'm happy. Yeah, I'm, I'm a type of happy person sometimes. And I'm, I'm also proud that this one also came out pretty good, uh, positive thinking, right? So, <laughs> so um, yeah, it's, it's quite awesome that uh, the test actually came out like that, you know. Welcome yeah. aboard, Carlos Mazariegos. Welcome aboard. Hello, everyone. How are you? I'm feeling hey, great. Carlos. Happy and thankful. We're right, talking thanks. about well-being. We're talking about a test I recently took on well-beingness. And, and this is my result. Uh, I turned out to be like that. Now, um, something that surprised me was work-life balance. This, this over here, uh, this graph here for me kind of surprised me because I, I always, I've, I've always considered that this is something that I really love doing. So I'm not, I have to do some more research on that one. And I was shocked to see that I'm not a kind person. <laughs> I guess I'm, I'm kind of cold-blooded. <laughs> but uh, in the end, um, these are skills uh, for being happy, happiness skills. And you guys can also take the test. Perhaps you can take the test the next week as homework, right? It's free yeah. and you can get the result like in 10 minutes. Hi, Charlie. And now we can see you. And uh, so as homework, I'm going to send you this PowerPoint and this link uh, so okay. you guys can uh, a well-being test. And as homework, perhaps next week, you can, guys can discuss and share with us your results and see okay. how high you score on the well-being meter. You understand? Okay. Yes. Got it. All right. Fantastic. I understand. Um, okay. Okay, good. Now, today we're going to talk about uh, well-being. Okay. So... In, in other words, um, as, as we were describing a moment ago, um, for the guys that are joining us right now, well-being is about, is the state of being comfortable, healthy, and happy, right? That's, that's, that's what we're talking about today. And um, we're going to have a, a concept of well-being when we finish. The, the objective uh, mainly today is for you to have a concept about what is, to be, what is well-being and how to speak about it. You understand how to talk about it, okay? And for that, we're going we're gonna to learn some new vocabulary, okay? Okay. Okay, good. So first on our list is deal with. Deal with, okay? Um, so let's see. Let's ask. Let's ask, let's see. Um, Lucy, could you help us read this slide? We're going to talk about the word uh, deal with and prioritize your workload. 
<clears throat> so deal with deal with something to take action to do something especially to solve a problem the government must now deal with uh, the problem of high unemployment and um, prioritize your workland to the to decide in what order you should do things based on how important or urgent they are. The, commi the committee, <laughs> I don't know, committee? has uh, to prioritize, committee. committee has to prioritize the school's needs. That's great, thanks for reading that. Okay, so we're gonna pronounce this one as prioritize. 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 That's correct. Prioritize. Okay, let's start with the first one. Deal with. Um, <coughs> you want to use deal, the verb deal, with the preposition with. And um, you want to, uh, the past tense of that is going to be um, dealt. Okay? Dealt. Okay. Dealt. dealt. You would say, I dealt with. Um, pretty much okay. deal with means um, to, take sac to take action, to solve a problem, which is, particularly something difficult uh, to do, right? So um, that's the, like the example says, right? The government must now deal with, right? The problem of uh, high employment, okay? So deal with means uh, something that you have to manage or take part of, but is something that's particularly uh, difficult, okay? Um, Gotcha. We're going to talk about prioritize your workload. Workload. What comes to your mind when we say workload? Any thoughts? A, a lot of work. A lot of work. Yep. So um, we have to prioritize our workload, uh, which pretty much means uh, to do what's important first, you know, um, okay. or what's important. Uh, I'm pretty sure that you guys have a lot of work and you have to prioritize. Uh, set what is first, what is or urgent, and what must be done um, in order to achieve your your job, right? So that's to prioritize your workload, okay? Mm. Okay, let's move on. Um, Well-being, of course, and cope. Let's take a look at these two words here. Um, let's see. Lucy, can you pick somebody? We have uh, Lourdes, Mario, uh, Oscar. Hi, Oscar. Hi, Mr. E. Welcome. And, Thank uh, you. And in the conversation, can you pick somebody for us? Sure, Carla. Carlos. Okay. 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 Well being, the state of being comfortable, healthy, and happy. Lather is taken as a sign of well being. Uh, the next one, cop. Cop. Uh, to deal, cop. To deal successfully with a difficult situation or a job, considering how bad her injuries are, she's copying very well. Thank you very much. Nice reading okay. here. Okay, so I really like that example. It's pretty much uh, self-explanatory. Laughter is taken as a, is taken as a sign of well-being. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. I, I, do you agree with that? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's a sign of well-being, right? Um, well-being is an adjective, right? So it's not a verb. It's an adjective form, right? Um, next, we have cope. Cope is a verb. Cope pretty much means to deal successfully, like manage to, with a difficult situation, right? Um, so, for instance, um, right now we're coping with uh, many difficult things, right, in our lives. Um, we have to cope uh with um you know um staying in our homes uh we have to cope with the lockdown and all these things we have to deal with these very difficult things uh in our lives at this time okay so okay. um let's see i'm gonna give you guys the opportunity here cope and well-being okay so in your view can you give us an example of what well-being is what is well-being in your view? In your view. I'll give you guys a, a, some time to think. Uh, you can raise your little hands there. You guys know how to use the application, right? <laughs> Good afternoon, Karen. Thank you for joining us. <clears throat> and, 
And we have a 982378. Who is that? Hello, who's, who's joining us right now? Okay. Okay, very good. So let's think of examples of well being and to cope. Okay. So, what are some examples of well being to you guys? Let's see? You guys can raise your hands. And what is to cope with something? What are you, in your thoughts? You see? Mario, any thoughts? Uh, yeah. Um, I think uh, well being is to, we need to have a balance, right? Um, to working out with our jobs or, uh, but working out with our family too. So, I think we have a we need to have a balance with all of the things around us. So, well-being is probably maybe we're not perfect, right? But we need to, we need to working out for to to have a, a good life. You know, the life is short. You know, got so it. Well is to to have a good life here with our family, but <clears throat> in our job too. So, uh, okay, basically, is uh, to have a balance. You know, uh, awesome. Thank you for that. And um, have you guys had to cope with something besides the lockdown? What else are you coping with? What are you coping with? In other words, what are you dealing with right now? Anything comes to mind? I think that we are coping with new types and ways to work from home. Yeah. Uh, so we have to uh, coping with a different process and ways to do our everyday, our daily things, I think. Yeah, precisely. We're coping with this, uh, with adapting, right? Mm -hmm. we're, we're coping with this new way of, uh, I call this new economy, the post-coronavirus the economy which is coming up next, the post-coronavirus, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, economy which is going to, this is it. Right now we're living it. This is the coronavirus economy. Yeah. That is correct. Sure. Uh, we could say, uh, we could say that uh, this uh, coronavirus uh, crisis um, came to, to force the, the, the necessity of uh, of uh, make an effort to cope uh, educational systems and um, I don't know if it's, it's well used uh, the, the, in, this, in this case uh, the necessity of cope uh, of, of, well, when you say cope it's, it's a verb so you say uh, you need to cope uh, the educational uh, necessities kind of uh, is, is it okay? Yeah practically I have to cope with um with not seeing you guys here in the academy. <laughs> I have to cope with um, uh, perhaps other difficult situations like, uh, you know, like all businesses, they have to, they have to cope with uh, new, uh, with all the, everything that's going on, you know, with um, from firing people to adapting to new situations, you know, so we have to cope with all of this, all of us, right? All right. Mm -hmm. So let's yeah. move on. Let's talk about the initiative 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 All right so there are two forms of using it you could say to show the initiative and to take the initiative okay show okay. and take the initiative thank you for taking the initiative today <laughs> and for showing it all right coca i hear that recognizable smile there could you okay. go ahead and, and uh, read the slide for us sure uh, show the initiative the ability to decide in an in independent way uh, what to do and when to do it. Mr. Hills showed in an initiative and the, um, bravery when, they, when dealing with a dangerous situation. 
take the, take the initiative, <clears throat> the initiative, the opportunity to take action before other people do. <clears throat> she would have to take the initiative in order to improve their relationship. That's great. Thanks a lot. Nice reading. Okay. okay so you. we show the initiative um, by by thinking independently, right? And and to take an in, independent decision. And we and we show it. We we demonstrate it. We do it by by taking action, right? Um, when we take the initiative, um, we act mostly before others do. Before we act, we act before others do. So, um, I remember uh, that uh, I would always tell the agents on the floor, as a trainer, right? When I used to support the call center, mm -hmm. I would always tell them, "Hey guys, take the initiative." Uh, take ownership of your of the situation, you know, take, sure. take the initiative. Don't uh, ask your supervisors for everything, um, you know, show the initiative by, um, by, you know, by learning more about the product that you're selling, for instance, right? So very important words, take the initiative and show the initiative, right? Okay. Absolutely. All right. Anybody wants to add <laughs> something on, uh, on this topic, on these two words? Mm -hmm. Show the initiative and take the initiative. Anybody else? Uh, for example, yes. uh, I, I am thinking in, a, in, a, in a, some examples. Uh, the, our president, uh, independent of the, the, um, the, the world situation, uh, he take the initiative uh, for, uh, uh, for face, for face uh, the, the dangerous uh, crisis of coronavirus. You got it. Absolutely. So the president, uh, in the past tense, Coca, mm -hmm. the president took, 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 yeah, took the initiative, right? The took. president took the initiative. Sure. Absolutely. Right. He took action. Okay. And so sure. we're not like Ecuador. <laughs> Thank God. Okay. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Let's talk about goals. Let's talk about <clears throat> goals. Okay. You can either set your goals or you can establish your goals. Okay. okay. So you use with the ver with the with the word goals. You can either use the verb set or establish. That's how you're going to use it. All right. Okay. Okay. Very well. Let's see. Um. Let's see. Coca, can you pick somebody? <clears throat> um. Um. Uh, is Josh uh, here with us? No. We have Mario. And we have Lourdes and Carlos and a guest, 982378. Okay, okay. Uh, Mario. Got it. Uh, set or establish goals. Something that you hope to, you hope to with a dangerous situation with proper planning. You should set goals for yourself at the beginning of each school year take the initiative oh we got that one already sorry that's repeating oh, yeah 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 okay. you're right okay so thanks a lot mario so um i think that everybody has to uh set their goals right uh or establish their goals it's the same thing to set or establish their goals um i think right now that i, I think we're all setting our own goals and um what are some goals that you have set recently guys or established. What are some goals that you have set or established recently for yourselves? Who would like to uh, in, my, in my in my case, for example, uh, my my main goal uh -huh. is uh, uh, an economic uh, stability for my family and, and I. Okay, so you have you have set that goal. <clears throat> okay, that's great. Thanks, Coca, for sharing. I have uh, I've I've also uh, set a couple of goals for myself. I have I have set a goal this week that I must learn how to use this application. <laughs> <laughs> and it really it is really working, though. Huh? <laughs> I'm getting better with each session, Carlos. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can see that, huh? I and I, I can I can feel you much more comfortable. And um, I don't know, maybe uh, at the beginning it was a little stressing to be doing this. But now I, 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 I can see you uh, very comfortable using this. Huh? Yeah, thanks. We're getting used to it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think we're all you. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for that. Uh, persevere. 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 
persevere. To continue to achieve something difficult, right? Okay. Police uh, negotiators will persevere with their effort to free the hostages. So, um, you know, like in a movie where, where you have police negotiators, they're, they're persevering, they're not giving up. They're continuing to achieve something difficult, right? Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Would you please repeat the the word? Yes. Please persevere. 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 Thank you. Persevere. This word here is going to be a schwa. Persa. Per oh, okay. Persevere. 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 That's right. Persevere. persevere. Exactly. So, okay. I think that uh, by doing this. We're, we're persevering, right? Yeah. We are persevering, right? We're, we're continuing to achieve uh, something that, that is, that, that's difficult, right? Sometimes a bit difficult to do. Okay? I have a question. Yes. Uh, uh, that word, persevere, uh, 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 the, the form is uh, an adjective and the and verb in the same time, that's right? Yes, or, yes, it shares both meanings. Okay. It could be a Thank verb, you. like I persevere at work. Or, yes. for example? I persevere. I persevere, persevere at work. Oh, well, sure. I think uh, yeah. I persevere. But mostly, um, it, in this sense, it's used as a verb. Okay? When you say okay. I persevere at work, that means it's a verb. I'm using it as a verb. Okay, okay Coke? Okay. As an okay. adjective form, Mm, I would have to use it as a participle, like the, the persevering uh, man or the persevering woman. So I would have to use it as a present participle, persevering, okay? That would be the yeah. adjective. Yes, Carlos, I, I saw your hand. <laughs> okay, I think uh, if you want to use it as an adjective, uh, I don't know completely sure the word I was looking for this right now, but I think it's uh, the perseverant, no? Perseverance is uh, the perseverance, adjective. Yeah. Perseverance. Yeah, and, that's another one. Yeah. Perseverance. And perseverance. Oh, and perseverance. Perseverance. Is, perseverance. Uh, is, is perseverance is the no, is the is the abstract is the abstract noun, no? Oh, thanks for that. So yeah, perseverant. Perseverant. Perseverant would be the adjective form too. Oh yeah. Okay. Thanks a lot for that. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Good one. Okay, good. So um, we're going to need the, these words because basically that's what we're going to be listening to in the listening practice. So just to recap, we have deal with. Okay. We have prioritize. Well-being. Cope. Show the initiative. Take the initiative. Set and establish goals, and also um, persevere. Okay. All right. Very good. So let's take a look at our um, on our agenda for today. Okay. So let's take a look at the agenda here for today. Okay. Okay, so let's see what's next. Okay, so we talked about what is well being to you, and we did the uh, vocabulary to get us started. Now, let's practice some listening uh, comprehension. Now, I'd like for you guys to, if you have your textbooks with you, uh, please go to page 14. My Quest for Quiet Time, that's the title. Page 14 of the C1 Personal Best, okay? My Quest for Quiet Time. Okay? Okay. My Quest for Quiet Time. My okay. Quest for Quiet Time. Yeah, so what is quiet time to you guys? Ah, is it the, the state of... Uh, uh no no noise no no nothing <laughs> okay no noise no nothing very good anybody else what is quiet time to you guys okay like quiet. a relaxed time relaxed time okay that was the word this right right 
<laughs> yeah, absolutely. And how do you how do you find your quiet time, Lourdes? How do you do it personally? I think that watching movies mm -hmm. or reading a book. Okay. I, mean, book, I think. Yeah. And I don't know, taking care of myself, <clears throat> I think. <laughs> okay. Okay, very good. Thanks for sharing with that. And um, let's see, quiet time. How do you guys find your quiet time? Or how do you get your quiet time? Can you give us an example? Listening quiet time to music. Is? Listening to music yeah. is an example. That was uh, Mario, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, very good. Mario, so can you give us some example? Yeah, actually, when I, I, I am stressed, you know, um, mm -hmm. uh, maybe it's weird, but I like to listen to uh, Led Zeppelin, you know? Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that, that's, my, <laughs> that's my way, you know, so that's my quiet time. Come on, baby, would you let my head? Yeah, but, but that kind of music is not, not a quiet music. I know. That's, that's what I said. Uh, it's a weird, it's maybe kind of weird, but uh, it's the way for me. Okay. Yeah. okay. Good, okay. good, good. Thanks a lot, Mary. Anybody else? Uh, quiet time. How do you guys, uh, what is quiet time to you guys, or how do you get it? Examples of that. In my case, for example, uh, my quiet time is uh, when I when I watching uh, a movie. I okay. I love uh, watching uh, watch uh, movies. And, uh, watching movies. Watching movies. Okay. That's right. All right. That's awesome. That's good. That's your quiet time. That's your chill time. Sure. Sure. You chill. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. Anybody else? Quiet time. What is that to you guys? Okay, good. Well, thanks a lot for sharing that with me. Well, my quiet time, what's my quiet time? My quiet time is, um, wow, there's no quiet time. <laughs> <laughs> You're busy all the time. <laughs> quiet time would be, I guess, when I'm with my kid, but he's kind of noisy, so <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think I have quiet time. I'll have to consider that. Take a vacation one day. <laughs> Okay, good. And before I play the, the audio, um, I need to ask you guys a question. What is, uh, what is stress and what causes stress? What is stress and what causes stress, guys? Can you give me some examples of that? You repeat that, that please? Yeah, sure. What is stress and what causes stress? It's and nice. you guys think you have a lot of stress right now. <laughs> uh, okay, in my view, yes, uh, the, the stress is a, a human st status uh, for uh, uh, the people uh, can't uh, manage uh, some situations. For example, okay. uh, dangerous situations, uh, hard situations, or whatever. You cannot manage certain situations. Uh, sure. All right. Certain Thanks. Or, or it was uncertain. Uh, or uncertain. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot. That's okay. good. Thanks, Coca. Anybody else? What is stress and what causes stress? I think the causes of their stress is like mm -hmm. their their anxious anxiousness. Anxiety. I mean, anxiety. Uh huh. Anxiety when you feel anxious. Mm -hmm, exactly. Okay, very good. Carlos, um, let's raise his hand. Carlos, when you when you uh, when you face a situation uh, mm -hmm. that uh, you are not prepared to to face, or to, because you don't have the knowledge, uh, mm -hmm. in, talking about uh, stress in a professional <coughs> sense, huh? okay. because it, it really. Uh, makes a lot, uh, stress, a stress, a stress, a stress you a lot, huh? Okay, 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 very good. So to face, in other words, to, to face a situation that you're not prepared, that you're not prepared for? Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah, yes. a face situation that you are not prepared to face, or to face. that you, are not, you, you don't have preparation enough. You're not prepared, uh, I'd say you're not prepared for, that's it. Mm -hmm. All right, great, anybody else? 
Stress and what causes stress, people? Okay. There's a little function to raise your hand. I don't know if you checked it out. You can actually raise your hand digitally. Um, really? Yeah. Is it? <laughs> Sorry, I am really new here, and I yes. thank God for my kid because he's helping me, you know? <laughs> okay, yeah, I got you. <laughs> Yes, I found it. Uh, oh, Lourdes found it. Okay. <laughs> so what is your answer, Lourdes? Anything else you want to add? I think also traffic. <laughs> traffic. Okay. How is traffic these days? I the same. Same. Now, but now it's earlier the traffic. So mm -hmm. it's almost the same. I heard from somebody from someone that that is uh, driving a lot that people are more aggressive right now. Is that true? What do you guys think? Mm. Are people stressed in the streets? I think that depends where are you going? Because if you're going to a bank, yes, okay. everybody is aggressive. But if you are going just to, because you have to go home, I think that they're gonna be like, I don't know, kindness, but. Okay, all right. Thanks That's a lot, an, uh, Yes. Another uh, mm -hmm. cause of stress uh, is um, um, situa situations without mm -hmm. uh, your uh, control. Okay, situations with, uh, where you have no control. Yes. Okay, that's good, yeah. Uh, situations in which you don't have control. Mm -hmm. Okay, that, yeah, right. sure, yeah. That definitely stresses me out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Right now. Yeah. No, okay. in my in my case, that that is the, the main situation. When when I uh, don't don't control uh, uh, some situation, uh, that that uh, that reason is a uh, cause is a uh, very uh, strong stress in me. I see. I see. Okay. That's okay. All right. That's good. Thanks. Thanks a lot for sharing with that uh, with us, uh, Coca. And finally, the definition of uh, quiet time. Uh, quiet time is basically defined as this, so we guys can keep that in mind. It's basically time alone. It means that it's time alone, doing something relaxing, doing something relaxing and peaceful. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the definition of quiet time. Okay. Um, we're gonna check out a, a video in which uh, they're going to interview uh, some people. And they're going to ask them um, what is quiet time today to them and what activities do they do and etc. So you're going to watch people being interviewed in the, in the street. And with that, we're going to go ahead and work on the book activities. Okay. 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 Fantastic. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Here we go. Welcome back. Today, I'm here with Gemma Viney, author of My Quest for Quiet Time. We're discussing the art of mindfulness. And for you, Gemma, it seems art is definitely the correct word. That's right. After trying so many different things, I wanted to do something that was, well, a bit fun. So when a friend suggested art therapy, I thought, why not? Art therapy? What exactly is that? First, I should point out that it's nothing new. People have created art to reduce anxiety and stress for years. But in the past, art therapy was mainly a medical term, as it was used for patients recovering from traumatic operations. While today's art therapy is definitely similar in that people are, are using it to cope with stress, it's no longer just a medical thing. Everybody's doing it, and it can be any kind of art you want. Some people do origami, some people paint, and some people dance. The basic idea is that it's something creative, something you can lose yourself in. And you decided on coloring books? Don't sound so surprised. <laughs> I think this is particularly interesting because coloring books have become one of the most popular forms of mindful meditation. In 2012, the Scottish illustrator Johanna Basford wanted to do something different. So she published an adult coloring book. It became a worldwide phenomenon, selling millions of copies and appearing on the bestseller list. 
Now, there are all kinds of adult colouring books, from underwater themes to forest scenes. And the next time you're in a cafe, a library, or even on a train, take a look around. You'll probably see somebody colouring. OK, now I might get in trouble for saying this, but aren't colouring books for children? Eric, you really should know better. Of course, traditionally, colouring in was a children's activity, but just watch a child as they're doing it. For them, nothing else exists. They are completely and utterly in the moment, and that's what mindfulness is all about. Adults can learn a lot from that. And it's easy to start, too. All you need is a colouring book and some pencils. At first, I must admit, I really wasn't sure. Let's just say um, I'm not the most artistic. I tried painting, but the best I could do was a house that looked like the work of a child. Origami really wasn't my thing. Too much folding. But with colouring, I could realise my artistic vision. I'm an impatient person, but I could have coloured all day. It's the best way I've found to be mindful. You should try it, Eric. Oh, don't worry. I've taken the initiative and bought a colouring <laughs> book for myself. What do you think? <laughs> Looking good. I hope you feel more mindful too. I think I do. Thanks, Gemma. And thank you for watching. And remember, do try this at home. See you next time. Okay. Very good. Okay. So um, let's see. We're going back to the thing here. Okay. Okay. There you go. Were you able to hear that? Yeah? Yes. Okay. Good. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting... Uh, yeah, I set my goal. My goal is then to get better at this. <laughs> okay, good. So um, in a nutshell, what was the video about? Um, they were talking to who? You guys get the name of the woman? The woman with the frizzy, crazy hair? Gemma. Gemma. Gemma, 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 Gemma right? Something like that. And um, what did she mostly talk about? What was the discussion? What, was, what, what were they talking about in general? Stress manage. Stress management. management. Okay, Mario, how is that? Can you give us some examples of that? Mario? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, from the, uh, from the video, uh, when they discussed oh, yeah. the stress management, could you give us some examples of that? How is that done? Yeah, um, actually, I like the, the idea to, to paint uh, books, but uh, as she mm -hmm. says, uh, I'm kind of a impatient person, you know, I'm running all the time. So, uh, but uh, watching that video, actually, I'm going to do the uh, color, the color book. Yeah. Coloring <laughs> I books. I decided right now. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's great. Thanks a lot, Mario. Um, did you guys, uh, what kind of uh, a therapy is it called? The one uh, where you paint and color, what kind of therapy is it called? Did you catch the name? It was coloring, mm. coloring, coloring, coloring books, or kind of. Huh? Origami, origami. Or, origami no, no. is uh, the paper and thing. Right? Yeah. The books are coloring mandalas. Okay. This is considered to be a form of therapy. Uh, what, was, what is the name of this therapy where people color, paint? Did you catch the name by any chance? No. It's, it's called art. Art therapy. No, oh, art therapy. therapy. Art, art therapy. Art therapy. Yes. Okay. Art. So, like uh, Mario was saying, like uh, coloring books is a form of therapy. It's called art therapy. Okay. Um, she so mentioned that there are different ways that we deal or cope with stress. There are different ways that people cope with stress. She mentioned dance. Uh, origami, painting, and um, this, this form of art therapy that she said. That's what I, ca I caught. The idea is, is for you to find mindfulness. 
-hmm. mindfulness. Mm -hmm. And yeah. mindfulness is when you lose yourself mm -hmm. in the moment. When you lose yourself in the moment. You know, you lose yourself in the moment. Mind what? I'm sorry. Mindfulness. 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 Okay. Mindfulness. Mindfulness. Yes. Mindful. M I like mind. M I N D. Full. F U L N E S S. Mindfulness. Mindfulness. Exactly. Mindfulness. Um, okay. Anybody else? Any anything else that you uh, managed to uh, catch from the video? Anything else you want to share? Okay, good. With a D, Carlos, with a D. That's it, with a D. M-I-N-D, okay. right? Mind. Mind. Okay. mind, like from the mind. Yes, go ahead. Um, Mario, you were going to talk? Yes. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. I'm just watching the, the word, the entire word. word. Yes, mindfulness. Thank you the very word. much, Charlie. <clears throat> mindfulness. Okay, good. That right? M I N D, right? Yes, you got it. Mindfulness. Thank you. Mindfulness. <laughs> you bet. Okay, good. Um, let's um, let's go ahead and uh, let's go and uh, check out some. Let's go to your book, page fourteen. Fourteen. Yes, page fourteen. Uh, Mario, I'm going to uh, send you the the, right. the slide for that one, okay? Okay, thank you. No worries, no worries. Okay. Okay, good. So, um, okay, so let's go to that part, and it says here, my quest for quiet time. My quest for quiet time. My quest for quiet time. Okay, very good. Let's see. Um, Lourdes, could you read the instructions for us? Okay, uh, number one. Uh huh. Yes, please. One and two. Okay. okay. When you want some quiet time, what activities do you do? What other activities do people do to relieve stress and improve their mental well being? Mental well-being. Number two, watch or listen to the first part of talking song. Which activities does each person below do to relieve stress? Very good. Thank you, guys. Can you underline the word uh, relieve stress? Relieve, relieve stress. stress. Relieve stress. In other words, how you get rid of stress, how you, uh, uh, you know, eliminate it uh, from your life to get to relieve stress, to, to lower it, to lower the amount of stress in your life. That's to relieve it, okay? Um, let's see. We're going to check out a, another part of the video here. So um, let's see. Let me go ahead and share that for you right now, okay? okay? Okay. All right. Just bear with me a second here, okay? Thanks so much. Let me just pull up the, uh, the video player again. Okay. So it's 2.6. Part one. Okay, here we go. Hello, and welcome to the show. I'm your host, Eric Maduro. Today's topic is well being. We all want to feel healthy, happy, and calm. But in the modern world, with its stressful pace of life, that's easier said than done. So, what do you do to de stress? relax and improve your mental well-being. A few years ago, I was really struggling with work. I wasn't managing my time properly. I was working too many hours and trying to fit too much in. Unsurprisingly, I was getting really stressed. Then I discovered mindfulness, a way of life that emphasizes being in the present moment, like looking at a flower as if you were seeing one for the first time. It really helped because it allowed me to take a step back, prioritize my workload, and make time for me too. I'm part of an art collective, and it's a great way to relieve stress. We all work on projects together. The current one is Daily Doodle, where each day we all add our own section to the same drawing. 
It's a lot of fun. And I just love collaborating like that. I find creating the art itself very soothing too. If I'm stressed or generally not coping well with life's everyday problems, I do origami. I find it so relaxing because you can totally lose yourself in it. People often call it mindless meditation because you're so focused on folding, you forget the stresses and problems of everyday life. Mindfulness. Mindlessness. Mindfulness? These are just some of the ways to improve your well-being. And my next guest has tried them all. Gemma Viney is best known as a newspaper columnist, but recently she's also become a well-being expert, even writing a book on the subject. Welcome to the show, Gemma. Thank you for having me, Eric. Gemma, your book is called My Quest for Quiet Time. So, and I have to ask this, did you find it? <laughs> You'll have to read the book. <laughs> oh, I'm only joking. Although you should definitely buy it. Seriously though, I wrote the book because I think quiet time is something we all need, but far too few of us get. I mean, it's ridiculous the way we all run around these days. We're tired, we're stressed, and we're all supposed to just cope with it all. Many of the so-called experts say we can all manage anything if we just set goals and persevere to achieve them. According to them, there's no such thing as too much work. But as far as I'm concerned, that simply isn't true. And that's why I wrote this book, to say to people, it's okay to slow down. But from what I can gather, the book is also very much about you and your own journey. How did it all start? You haven't always been into mindfulness, have you? No, frankly, I've never been what you might describe as a relaxed person. A few years ago, I had two small children. I was working all the time and I wasn't dealing very well with the pressure. One day, I just decided to take some time off and do something for myself. And you tried quite a few things that didn't work out as well as might be expected. You can say that again. The first thing I did was to join the gym. You know, healthy body, healthy mind and all that. Now, I'm sure the gym is brilliant for some people, but let's just say I'm not its biggest fan. And what did you try next? Meditating. I thought, sitting down, now there's something I can do. But actually, I found it unbearable. I just couldn't handle the silence. Everyone would sit there with restful, empty minds, and I'd just be thinking, what's for dinner tonight? <laughs> what did you do in the end? I bought a colouring book. A colouring book? As in a book you colour in? Absolutely. And if you ask me, it's the best kind of therapy out there. OK, I need to find out more about this. But we'll need to wait until part two. Join us then. All righty then. Okay, welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back. Okay, um, in the video, we had Kathy, we had Tom, Sarah, and Gemma, again, talking to us about how they find uh, that quiet time, quiet time. Okay, anybody pick up on somebody? How do these people find quiet time? Who do you remember? Let's check your retention there. Any thoughts there? Let's see. Okay. I just remember Caddy with origami. Okay. Somebody um, said origami, um, right? It was Sarah, I think. I thought. It was Sarah. Oh, Sarah. Sarah, it was right? Sarah. Okay. I'm sorry. Sarah. Okay. Very good. So she uses she uses origami to find uh, that <clears throat> quiet time, right? What is the what is that word? Mindfulness. Mindfulness. Yes. That word mindfulness, right? Okay, do you guys remember what Kathy did? <clears throat> well, Sarah, her quiet time is origami. What about Kathy? What did, what did Kathy do to practice her mental well-being? Did you catch it? 
and she was uh, talking about mindfulness or kind of no yeah she was talking about mm -hmm. mindfulness mindfulness uh -huh. that's right exactly so um we had kathy she said that she practiced she discovered uh mindfulness right mm -hmm. yes. she discovered mindfulness and um uh tom tom was in some kind of group right tom was some kind of art group or something like that right and um sarah Sarah, she did the origami, right? Yes. Yeah. Origami. And Hema, what did Hema do? She started uh, doing a book. Wrote, wrote a book. Coloring oh, book. yeah, she wrote a book. That's true. Yeah. Okay, what else? Coloring book. Yeah, she uses the coloring book as her, as her, um, as her way out. Okay. Sorry, may I have a, a phone call? Sure, go ahead, go ahead, take your time. Thank you. Okay, good. Um, okay, good. Hey, don't ask me for permission for the bathroom, guys. We're not in the class. <laughs> <laughs> Please go ahead and do what you have to do. Okay? Okay, no, good. Eh, bueno, más, eh, no, okay, good. <laughs> Let's see. Um, okay, good. I even learned how to do that. Okay, good. So now let's go to the textbook. Can you guys please go to the textbook? And let's go to activity. Um, it's activity 2.6. Watch or listen to the first part of Talking Zone. Which activity does each person below do to relieve their stress? Okay, we talked about that. Uh, activity 3. Complete the extracts with the correct form of the verbs in the box. I wasn't my time properly. I was working too many hours and trying to fit too much in. Okay, let's listen to the video and we'll stop it so you guys fill it out, okay? Okay, just a sec. Okay, take your time. Thanks a lot. <laughs> okay. Welcome back. Today, I'm here with Gemma Viney, author of My Quest for Quiet Time. We're discussing the art of mindfulness, and for you, Gemma, it seems art is definitely the correct word. That's right. After trying so many different things, I wanted to do something that was, well, I'm sorry. a bit fun. I played so the, when a friend suggested... I played the other track. My bad. It's this part here. Thank you. Welcome back. Today, I'm here with Gemma Viney, author of My Quest for Quiet Time. We're discussing the art of mindfulness. And for you, Gemma, it seems art is definitely the correct word. That's right. After trying so many different things, I wanted to do something that was, well, a bit fun. So when a friend suggested art therapy, I thought, why not? Art therapy. What exactly is that? Hold on. I think I pressed the wrong one. The my bad. One. My bad. My bad. There you go. I got it this time. I swear. I got it. Okay. <laughs> now is it. Hello and welcome to the show. I'm your host, Eric Maduro. Today's topic is well-being. We all want to feel healthy, happy, and calm. But in the modern world, with its stressful pace of life, that's easier said than done. So what do you do to de-stress, relax, and improve your mental well-being? A few years ago, I was really struggling with work. I wasn't managing my time properly. Okay, she said it. Did you guys catch it? Managing. You got it. Who said managing? Managing. Lourdes. Lourdes, good job. I wasn't managing my time properly good job i was working too many hours and trying to fit uh too much in okay could you guys repeat that after me i wasn't managing my time i wasn't, I wasn't managing, managing my, time. My, my time good no. past progressive right i was working too many hours yes. and trying to fit too much in 
Unsurprisingly, I was getting really stressed. Then I discovered mindfulness, a way of life that emphasizes being in the present moment, like looking at a flower as if you were seeing one for the first time. It really helped because it allowed me to take a step back, prioritize my workload, and make time for me too. I'm part of an art collective, and it's a great way to relieve stress. We all work on projects together. The current one is Daily Doodle, where each day we all add our own section to the same drawing. It's a lot of fun, and I just love collaborating like that. Okay. I just love... Collaborate. Collaborating. 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 I just love collaborating like that. Collaborating. That's correct. Okay. I find creating the art itself very soothing too. If I'm stressed or generally not coping well with life's everyday problems, I do origami. I find it so relaxing because you can totally lose yourself in it. People have everyday problems. I do origami. I love collaborating like that. I find creating the art itself very soothing too. If I'm stressed or generally not coping well with life's everyday problems, I do origami. Okay. Coping. 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 We drop the E, right? Coping, not coping. Coping. So? <laughs> Co yeah. Coping? Coping. C O P. ING. That's right. Coping. ING. Coping. Yes, coping. It's in the little box, in the little green box. Hmm? Okay. I find it so relaxing because you can totally lose yourself in it. People often call it mindless meditation because you're so focused on folding, you forget the stresses and problems of everyday life. Nice hair. Mindfulness. <laughs> Mindlessness. Mindfulness? These are just some of the ways to improve your well-being. And my next guest has tried them all. Gemma Viney is best known as a newspaper columnist, but recently she's also become a well-being expert, even writing a book on the subject. Welcome to the show, Gemma. Thank you for having me, Eric. Gemma, your book is called My Quest for Quiet Time. So, and I have to ask this, did you find it? You'll have to read the book. <laughs> oh, I'm only joking. Although you should definitely buy it. Seriously though, I wrote the book because I think quiet time is something we all need, but far too few of us get. I mean, it's ridiculous the way we all run around these days. We're tired, we're stressed, and we're all supposed to just cope with it all. Many of the so-called experts say we can all manage anything if we just set goals and persevere to achieve them. According to them, there's no such thing as too much work. But as far as I'm concerned, that simply isn't true. And that's why I wrote this book, to say to people, it's okay to slow down. But from what I can gather, the book is also very much about you and your own journey. How did it all start? You haven't always been into mindfulness, have you? No, frankly, I've never been what you might describe as a relaxed person. A few years ago, I had two small children. I was working all the time and I wasn't dealing very well with the pressure. One day, I just decided to take some time off and do something for myself. And you tried quite a few things that didn't work out as well as might be expected. You can say that again. The first thing I did was to join the gym. You know, healthy body, healthy mind and all that. Now, I'm sure the gym is brilliant for some people, but let's just say I'm not its biggest fan. And what did you try next? Meditating. I thought, sitting down, now there's something I can do. But actually, I found it unbearable. I just couldn't handle the silence. Okay, she finally said it. <laughs> handle. She finally, handle. she said it. What is it? Handle. 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 Is handle huh? That's handle. right. I just couldn't handle the silence. 
handle the science. That's science. correct. Okay, good. Thanks a lot for that. All right, so let's see. Um, activity B, answer the questions in pairs. We have one, two, three questions. Um, let's see. Let's have somebody read the questions for us, and we'll pick some people to, to answer for them uh, those questions for us as well. Lucy, are you there with us, Lucy? Yes, I am here. Okay, could you kindly read those questions for us? Um, the, uh, in, in the letter A, number three, complete the extract with the correct form or of the verse in the box. Is that the... You, you want to no. go to activity B. B, all right. So, how well do you manage your time when studying or at work? Hmm. How well do I manage my time when studying at, or at work? Well, I, 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 to be honest with you, I manage my time quite well. I'm coping with a new change, uh, but um, I'm trying my best. Anybody else? How well do you manage your time? Uh, in my case, for example, uh, I manage uh, my, my time no, no, uh, not uh, as uh, I. I think some sometimes, uh, some some sometimes, uh, I am. Uh, I I don't manage correctly uh, or uh, very well my time uh, in in the study and uh, at, um, in the work too. Okay, very good. Thanks a lot. Anybody else want to add about that question? Something else you want to add? Mm. Somebody else? Okay, let's move on to the next question. Have you set any goals for yourself recently? Anybody, have you set any goals for yourself recently? Somebody. Mm. Well, like I said, guys, my recent goal, I set my immediate ur urgent goal was to educate myself about online distance learning and educate myself on these type of applications. So I'm still at it. I'm still at it. I'm still working on that goal. Okay. Anybody else? Um, Any goals you have set in, yourself recently? In this moment, uh, it's a uh, it's a moment for uh, very changes in my life. Uh, my my job is uh, uh, is is uh, secure because I am I am working in my house. But uh, the the type of the kind of of work uh, is is too different. Uh, work at home is uh, is too different. Uh, uh, here I I have a, a many instructors. Um, and uh, I am uh, working uh, hard uh, for to for do my best in my job. All right, to do your best, to do your best. Yes, that's great. That's great. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks a lot. And number three, how do you cope with stress? What activities do you do to relieve your stress? Anybody? Do you go <laughs> have a, a glass of beer? Uh, <laughs> go no, exercise. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> okay. In my case, uh, the, the movies. I I love watching movies. All right. That that uh, for for me is the best uh, therapy to to re relieve the stress. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Thanks, Coca. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see. You guys know how to use the hand function there. Yeah, I, I, I have been I'm, using uh, I have been using it, but you don't answer. Really? Yes, me too. Yeah. Yes, me too. <laughs> you oh can rice. I, I, can't, I, I can't have get out of the... rice, and I have you have you after. You, oh, you there it is. Lower, oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're right. Oh, there it is. Uh, it's just escaping me. There. Thank you, Carlos. You're up. Thank you. I was just learning how to close the chat box. Okay. okay. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
when Carlos. you when you are stressed, uh, sometimes uh, it's a good idea to change uh, your 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 how do you say your the, the focus or what you are doing. Okay. When you set uh, and you change uh, in this time, it doesn't matter. If you are very, really stressed. You change to a different activity. So sometimes it helps you taking uh, outside your mind uh, what is uh, what is producing the stress. Sometimes um, when you change or when you go to, to to practice some exercise, even though it is just uh, going around, walking around, or uh, it's, it's a good idea. Or, yeah, or, or when you are really stressed, yeah, if you find someone to, to go to, drink a coffee or whatever, it helps you a lot, really. Huh? Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's great. Well, that's a good That's a good way of doing that, Charlie. Thanks a lot. Thank you for sharing that. Is Marielos connected? I think Marielos is, is there somewhere, right? Marielos, are you there? Marielos is there. Yeah, I'm there. I'm here. <laughs> oh, hey, what's up? Hello, my friends. How are Hello. you? Hello. Hello. Why so quiet? Um, to, I love to listen to people and watch your faces. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're just spying on us. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you do to what do you do to relieve your stress? Uh, I'm just taking my dance dance classes uh, by Instagram with my teacher during these two weeks. Um, it's uh, a little weird, but it's nice. Um, I love him so much because he takes care uh, about us, about our health. I'm doing my work since home, home office. Um, it's, a, it's a weird for me. This is the first time that I'm working in that way, but I'm okay. Um, especially, uh, I think the stress, we need to, to think in oh. other things or do another thing. I learned to do another cake this week and that is nice for me. <laughs> So okay. in that way, we can um, take away our stress. I Good, guess. and we love your cakes. We love your biscuits. Oh, sure. <laughs> I will yeah. do one for you <laughs> when we are back. All right. That's hmm? good. Good to hear from you. And you have to tell Hi. us uh, how that whole online gym experience is. <laughs> it's nice. I like, to, yeah. I like to do exercise because... Uh, um, I had to do a lot of things sometimes, and this week I was working as a psychology with the people. Yeah, it was a, a group of ten person, ten people mm -hmm. from Guatemala, but they are in the El Salvador. And uh, President Bukele took them uh, uh, for quarantine by thirty days, and it is so hard for them because they can live from the that place. And I, I had to do the accompaniment accomplishment. Is that okay to say that? I don't know. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Can you say that again? So I, ha I had to help them, uh, working with them, especially the, the psychology. With the, like the, uh, I am working with the psychology in that way with them because they are very stressful. You're, you're their, their psychologist. Well, I, I'm not a psychologist, but I, have, I, have, I read some books uh, some years ago. Maybe I will study another thing uh, this year. So how are you helping them? You're helping them through the internet? Uh, yeah, I use a lot of tea. Uh, it's a part uh, that we use so much. And it's nice. It's nice to, to use that. Uh, we can read, share, speak, and try to to be a support for them. Okay. That's great. Congratulations. Thank you for doing that. Very interesting. You've adapted quite well. You're coping well. Yes. Okay. Thanks for sharing that. Let's move on to skills, understanding, attitude, and opinion. Understanding, attitude, and opinion. Um, let's see. Marielos, <laughs> could you pick somebody to read that part for us? Uh, yes. Charlie, Charlie, thank you so much for helping me. <laughs> okay, it was a pleasure. Thank you. Now you, it's your turn to read. <laughs> okay. 
Um, we are reading uh, what? Which one is now, uh, Mr. Ria? I, 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 yeah, yeah. I, skills, understanding, attitude, skills, understanding, attitude. Okay. attitude. When you yeah. when you read the skill box, this the uh, two point six. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. If you could. Okay. Uh, read the skill box. Uh, watch uh, or listen again. Are uh, are the sentences true or false? Is this what uh, what you want me to read? No. Um, that's no. fine. That's fine. Uh, it's the skills, understanding, attitude, and opinion page. 14. Okay. 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 Sorry. The, the the gray box. Okay. Understanding, attitude, and opinion. Okay, understanding someone's attitude toward or opinion of. Something can be just as important as understanding factual content. It's for directly stated opinions. For example, found it unbearable. If you ask me, yoga is the best therapy. And directly stated or softened opinions. For example, softened. I, softened. Yes. Softened opinions. Uh, for example, I'm not the biggest fan of mindfulness. Mm -hmm. I'm sure some people love art. Okay. Uh, general attitude. Uh, does the speaker look and sound positive or negative about the topic? Be careful. Speakers may mm -hmm. first introduce an attitude or opinion that others hold and then express a different personal opinion. Okay, thanks a lot for that. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Okay, so here you have to listen to the key uh, phrases that people use to understand their general opinion about something, right? Okay, so let's uh, to understand the general attitude. So to understand attitude, right? To understand attitude, you have to listen into uh, certain phrases, like for instance, I found it unbearable. Okay, what is what is unbearable? I found it unbearable. Uh, it's something you can't, that uh, you cannot is, handle. Okay, something you can't handle, right? Okay. If you ask me again, if you ask me, for instance, right? If you ask me. Uh, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, is the best therapy is the best um, whatever right so if you ask me uh, let's say I don't know uh, um, if you ask me the the, the the iPhone is the best cell phone right uh, another example here is I'm not the biggest fan I'm not the biggest fan of this and that okay so you could say like when you're demonstrating and, and let's say you're softening your opinion um you're not saying for instance i don't like it or i hate it uh you're softening it softening uh the opinion by just using this phrase i'm not the biggest fan of uh let's say uh, pop music i'm not the biggest fan of um you know, taking the bus for instance right um another key phrase here is i'm sure some people love right i'm sure some people love um this and that thing right so i'm sure people love um, green tea but if you ask me uh coffee is better you see yeah so i'm sure some i'm sure some people love um I don't know. Some people like uh, uh, salads, uh, but if you ask me, I'm not the biggest fan of salads. Um, you know what I'm saying? So you're stating your opinion uh, softly here, okay? All right. Okay. Good. And in general, what what attitude are you are you expressing? Like uh, um, in general, when you use these phrases, is it perhaps could it be? A positive or negative attitude towards a topic. Do you understand? So um, let's say if you take a topic, I don't know, distance learning, like we're doing right now. Um, let, let's use this language, okay? So, for instance, okay. So I need you guys to talk about this. 
So the topic is distance learning. At the beginning, I found it unbearable. To be honest with you. <laughs> I found it unbearable. Um, and I wasn't the biggest fan of distance learning. I thought it was, it was, it was weird. I thought, how can you do that? How can you not have the human interaction part? Um, you know, whatnot. And I'm sure some people love distance learning, but at the beginning I found it kind of unbearable, but then I, then I set some goals for myself and I said, no, you got to change your, your mind and you got to change your mind quickly. Because if you don't change your mind quickly, you're just going to go with the dinosaurs, like the dinosaurs. They didn't evolve. They died, right? Um, <laughs> to, to give you an example, my French professor, you guys know who my French professor is, right? Today, he's kind of, he's older. He's an older gentleman, right? Um, at the beginning, I, I, tried, I tried coaching him and tried to onboard him, if you want to say that word, uh, on how to do, do this. But he was like, no. This is not my thing. And I tried, but it didn't work out for him. He said, no, I'd rather, I'd rather wait and, until this thing comes down and, and do it like normally. You know what I'm saying? But uh, in my view, um, that's my opinion on distance learning. Okay? Who wants to add something? But this is the rule, guys. The rule is this. You guys have to incorporate this language in your opinions, okay? You see what I'm saying? Okay. okay. So in general, um, in general, what did you what did you think my attitude was towards distance learning? You heard my you heard me ranting right now. So in general, what do you think my attitude was? Was it a positive, neutral, or what do you guys think in your view? Oscar, go ahead. Okay. Uh, in my opinion. Uh, I, your attitude in, in distance learning is excellent. Uh, I, I don't, uh, I don't uh, view the, the difference uh, for uh, uh, receive uh, the, the class together or uh, each one in, in our houses. For me, Got it's it. excellent. Okay, good. So you can say, if you ask me, if you ask me. Excuse me? You could say, uh, for instance, um, <clears throat> Coca, in order, you can say, like, for instance, you can say, if you ask me, distance learning is the same. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Yes. If you ask, if you ask me, uh, the distance learning uh, in your case <coughs> is the same. The same. It's excellent. Uh, excellent in, in, in two forms. Got it. Got it. Okay. Thanks a lot, Coca. Anybody else? What, what, what is your opinion about distance learning and use the, the vocab? Anybody else? Raise your hand. You know how to raise the <laughs> hand? Oh, okay. Carlos has risen his hand. Okay. Go ahead, Charlie. Uh, and at the beginning, maybe I found it uh, a little unbearable. Yeah. Because uh, I, it, I I was not um, used to this kind of uh, learning, a distance learning. Yeah. Uh, if you ask me, um, if you ask me, I I I, it, uh, I think uh, that um, this is a very uh, useful uh, way to 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 learn. Uh, maybe I'm not the biggest fan of uh, this kind of uh, distance. Because I because I think uh, that it is much more com complete if you are face to face with uh, with someone else. Uh, maybe there there is something else, but uh, but I don't know. Something is missing. For example, in your classes, I can find um, uh, difficult. Uh, uh, for me, it was it was very interesting when you used to to write in the on the board. All the uh, all the all the uh, phonetics phonetics uh, structures, uh, how to make a word. Uh, this is missing, and I think it's uh, unbearable to 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 find it in a in an easy way. Or maybe you will find something something to, to do this. Uh, okay, I, I'm uh, I, I'm sure uh, I'm sure that a lot of people, especially young people. 
they really love this kind of uh, distance uh, because they are uh, doing the many things at the same time because uh, for example uh, for me it's a little difficult to to be uh, paying attention to your to your class and distance and uh, if, so, if somebody send me a, a note by whatsapp i i i i it is uh, a quite of a little unbearable to to, <laughs> to get to to understand that but uh, I, I but i think i'm getting used to that huh yeah, yeah and yeah. Uh, but uh, really i think a distance uh, learning uh, it was a easy solution for many people and um, the process of under or, or learning can continue totally now, huh? totally mm -hmm. totally okay very good charlie thanks for sharing that any last thoughts on distance learning um anybody want to give it a shot i think Stuart is online Stuart. Stuart, are you there joining us today Stuart. okay no answer all right oh lucy go ahead lucy all right so in this case i think that uh, distance education is a very helpful tool okay if you ask me okay if it is a great opportunity to change the business and uh help the, uh, help the economy gotcha okay guys so we're gonna thanks uh, thanks for sharing that let's move on to activity number four we're gonna watch Kimma's interview and we're gonna answer true or false for the questions there below okay Today we have nine participants, well, eight participants joining us today for the class, which is also uh, a very nice group today, okay? Thank you. Very good. Nice group. Okay, so let's listen to our interview and let's answer true or false. Let's see, number one, Hema believes that we're too busy nowadays. Two, she has a positive attitude towards experts who say we can manage anything if we set goals and persevere. Number three, she considers herself to be a relaxed person. Four, she's found that going to the gym is a great way to relieve stress. Five, she had a negative experience with meditation. Six, her attitude toward coloring books is extremely positive. So let's listen and let's answer Everyone to her would false. Okay. I've never been what you might describe. Ernie, how did it all start? You haven't always been into mindfulness, have you? No, frankly, the book. <laughs> oh, I'm only joking. Although you should definitely buy it. Seriously though, I wrote the book because I think quiet time is something we all need, but far too few of us get. I mean, it's ridiculous the way we all run around these days. We're tired, we're stressed, and we're all supposed to just cope with it all. Many of the so-called experts say we can all manage anything if we just set goals and persevere to achieve them. According to them, there's no such thing as too much work. But as far as I'm concerned, that simply isn't true. And that's why I wrote this book, to say to people, it's okay to slow down. But from what I can gather, the book is also very much about you and your own journey. How did it all start? You haven't always been into mindfulness, have you? No, frankly, I've never been what you might describe as a relaxed person. A few years ago, I had two small children. I was working all the time and I wasn't dealing very well with the pressure. One day, I just decided to take some time off and do something for myself. And you tried quite a few things that didn't work out as well as might be expected. You can say that again. The first thing I did was to join the gym. You know, healthy body, healthy mind and all that. Now, I'm sure the gym is brilliant for some people, but let's just say I'm not its biggest fan. And what did you try next? Meditating. I thought, sitting down, now there's something I can do. But actually, I found it unbearable. I just couldn't handle the silence. <laughs> Everyone would sit there with restful, empty minds, and I'd just be thinking, what's for dinner tonight? <laughs> what did you do in the end? I bought a coloring book. A coloring book? As in a book you color in? 
Absolutely. And if you ask me, it's the best kind of therapy out there. Okay, I need to find out more about this, but we'll need to wait until part two. Join us then. Got it. Okay. Okay, team. So, what's up with that? What answer do we have? Let's see. Number one. True or false? Emma believes that we're too busy nowadays. True or false? True. 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 Correct. Correct. True. That's right. Number two, she has a positive atti attitude towards experts who say we can manage anything and we set goals and persevere. False. False. Yes, sir. Number three, she considers herself to be a relaxed person. False. 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 All right. Yes, ma'am. Number three, she considers herself to be relaxed. To she considers herself to be a relaxed person. True or false? False. 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 That's right. Number four, she's found that going to the gym is a great way to relieve stress. No. Uh, it, she she it, it told it to us uh, that that is the great way, but not for all. Not for her. Thank you, Coca. So that's false. Oh. Number five, she had a negative attitude, a negative experience with meditation. True or false? True. 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 And right. number six, her attitude toward coloring books is extremely positive. True. 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 Okay. Nice work. Next page, please. Thank you very much. Let's see. It says here. Watch or listen to the second part of the show and answer the questions. Um, let's see. Lucy, you read, you read last, right? Yeah. Okay, Lucy, pick somebody from the group to read. Marielos. Marielos, okay. I don't think she's online. Is she there? <laughs> yeah. Then I'm here. Oh, okay. I'm here again. Okay, go ahead. Uh, to the eight, that right? Yeah, 2.8. Okay, let's well, listen to the second part of the show and answer the questions. What kind of therapy did a friend suggest that uh, Hema try? Uh, two, is uh, this type of therapy new? In which situation was it first used? And third, is Eric's attitude to this type of therapy positive or negative by the end of the show? Okay, thanks a lot for that. Okay, okay. guys, so let's listen to these uh, questions and uh, let's answer them, okay? Okay. Thank you very much. Welcome back. Today, I'm here with Gemma Viney, author of My Quest for Quiet Time. We're discussing the art of mindfulness. And for you, Gemma, it seems art is definitely the correct word. That's right. After trying so many different things, I wanted to do something that was, well, a bit fun. So when a friend suggested art therapy, I thought, why not? Art. Okay. What kind of therapy? Art therapy. Art therapy. Art, art therapy. Okay, art therapy. everybody agree, right? Okay, therapy. Mm -hmm. What exactly is that? First, I should point out that it's nothing new. People have created art to reduce anxiety and stress for years. But in the past, art therapy was mainly a medical term, as it was used for patients recovering from traumatic operations. While today's art therapy is definitely similar in that people are, are using it to cope with stress, it's no longer just a medical thing. Everybody's doing it. And it can be any kind of art you want. Okay, good. Question, is this type of therapy new? Yes? No. No, no it's old. old. Correct. And in which situations or situation was it first used? Uh, medical conditions. Yeah. yeah. Look at that, Mr. Coca. Nice work. Good mm -hmm. listening. Good listening. Okay. Is Eric's attitude to this type of therapy positive or negative? Let's see. Some people do origami, some people paint, and some people dance. The basic idea that it's something creative, something you can lose yourself in. And you decided on coloring books? <laughs> Don't sound so surprised. I think this is particularly interesting because 
Coloring books have become one of the most popular forms of mindful meditation. In 2012, the Scottish illustrator Johanna Basford wanted to do something different. So she published an adult coloring book. It became a worldwide phenomenon, selling millions of copies and appearing on the bestseller list. Now, there are all kinds of adult coloring books from underwater themes to forest scenes. And the next time you're in a cafe, a library, or even on a train, take a look around. You'll probably see somebody coloring. Okay, now I might get in trouble for saying this, but aren't coloring books for children? Eric, you really should know better. Of course, traditionally, coloring in was a children's activity, but just watch a child as they're doing it. For them, nothing else exists. They are completely and utterly in the moment, and that's what mindfulness is all about. Adults can learn a lot from that. And it's easy to start too. All you need is a colouring book and some pencils. At first, I must admit, I really wasn't sure. Let's just say I'm not the most artistic. I tried painting, but the best I could do was a house that looked like the work of a child. Origami really wasn't my thing. Too much folding. But with colouring, I could realise my artistic vision. I'm an impatient person, but I could have coloured all day. It's the best way I've found to be mindful. You should try it, Eric. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> I've taken the initiative and bought a colouring book for myself. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Looking good. I hope you feel more mindful too. I think I do. <laughs> Thanks, Gemma. And thank you for watching. And remember, do try this at home. Okay, cool. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, so um, is Eric's attitude to this type of therapy positive? Yes or no? Positive or negative? <laughs> negative. Negative. Okay, why do you say that, Mario? <laughs> no, it's positive. I can tell that he's kind of negative because he, uh, his face, you know, or his uh, gesture uh, when she talked about uh, coloring books. You know? He's being sarcastic? Uh, yeah, actually, I think he's kind of um, uh, not optimistic. He's pessimist. pessimist. Okay, he's a pessimist know. about that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. But at the end, he's kind of fun, you know, because he's coloring the book. So, but at the, at the, at the beginning, I think he's kind of a uh, negative. Gotcha. Gotcha. Thanks, Mario. Coca, you believe he's positive, right? Yes. Why? Tell me why, bro. Uh, because uh, uh, at the end of the, of the show, <laughs> he uh, suggests to all, uh, okay, uh, everybody, you can try uh, the, this activity in, in your house. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Pretty cool. Thanks a lot for sharing that, guys. Yep. Um, all right. So let's. Let, it says here. Let's do the activity six here. You have. We have to complete the little box that's there with the words that are from the. Um... Can you see my book? Can you see my camera? Oh, you do have one. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's it a testimony. Yeah, Carly it Star works. Carlos. Okay. Yeah, Carly yeah Carly Charlie, Carly. show one. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> nice, really guys. Curious, huh? Nice. Yeah, my daddy. <laughs> really nice. That is the second book that I have. But this is Garabatos. Love it. Wow. <laughs> no kidding. No yeah. kidding. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thanks for showing us your books. Okay. So now let's uh, let's listen and complete in what we have to do here, okay? Okay. Mm, let me see. Okay, so here it is. All right. Let's see. I love her face like that. <laughs> <laughs> now, now on um, on uh, Zoom, I I'm getting used to like a lot of stills. Still is cuando la cámara se queda quieta, verdad? Uh huh. So there are a lot of stills on me on the internet now, like. 
the <laughs> weird faces. But now I'm used to it. So they are completely no and okay. So let's listen where she talks about this them, artist activity. Uh, but what's every somebody coloring. Okay. okay. Now I might get in trouble for saying this, but aren't coloring book um coloring book? It became into one of the most popular forms of mindful meditation. Okay. I think this is particularly interesting because coloring books have become one of the most popular forms of mindful meditation. In 2012, the Scottish illustrator Johanna Basford wanted to do something different. So she published an adult coloring book. It became a worldwide phenomenon, selling millions of copies and appearing on the bestseller list. Now, there are all kinds of adult coloring books from underwater themes to forest scenes and the next time you're in a cafe a library or even on a train take a look around you'll probably see somebody coloring okay now i might get in trouble okay 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 let's, let's uh somebody's making some noise there i'm not sure who it is mario mario, mario. i think it's uh, i think mario has a, a, a kind of uh okay, difficulty got it. With yeah, it's, it's okay. Now, okay. Yeah, yeah. Now I know how to silence people. You know, getting good at it. Okay. Okay. So it says here, coloring coloring books for adults have been popular since the illustrator Johanna Basford published one in. Did you get that? No, I couldn't get it. No, I, I don't. Get anybody? It. Anybody close to the year? Two thousand twelve. I think, yep, they're all different kinds uh, on the market with pictures of themes or scenes. Anybody catch any of that? Uh, in my case, I don't hear properly because uh, in the uh, uh, the sound is uh, is uh, too noisy. Okay, we can repeat well, that for saying part this, again. but. You'll take a look around. You'll probably see somebody coloring. Okay, now I might get in trouble for saying this, but aren't coloring books for children? Eric, you really should. In 2012, the Scottish illustrator. Okay, in 2012, did you hear her? In yes, yes. 2012, did you catch that? Okay. Johanna Basford wanted to do something different. So she published an adult coloring book. It became a worldwide phenomenon, selling millions of copies and appearing on the bestseller list. Now, there are all kinds of adult coloring books from underwater themes. To okay, she said it. Did you catch it? Underwater themes. Mm, no. Underwater themes. Oh, underwater. Oh, okay. Okay, again, coloring again. Coloring books from underwater themes. Underwater on the world two themes. On the world, it is the the accent is like uh, England. That's that right. Yeah, she's British. She's a on the world two, <laughs> like okay. Harry Potter. Okay. To forest scenes. <laughs> and what? Did you catch that one too? Yeah, for, forest. You got it. Forest. Forest, forest. scenes. Forest oh. scenes. Good one. And the next time you're in a cafe, a library, or even on a train, take a look around. You'll probably see somebody coloring. Okay, now I might get in trouble for saying this, but aren't coloring books for children? Eric, you really should know better. Of course, traditionally coloring in was a children's activity, but just watch a child as they're doing it. For them, nothing else exists. They are completely and utterly in the moment, and that's okay. So adults like children can what? Can be completely in the moment. In the moment, that's correct. Good one. In the moment. What mindfulness is all about. Adults can learn a lot from that, and it's easy to start too. All you need is a coloring book and some pencils. At first, I must admit, I really wasn't sure. Let's just say I'm not the most artistic. I tried painting, but the best I could do was 
a house that looked like the work of a child. Origami really wasn't my thing. Too much folding. But with colouring, I could realise my artistic vision. I'm an impatient person, but I could have coloured all day. It's the best way I've found to be mindful. Okay. So, let's see. She isn't very... Did anybody Mindful. catch that? Very Patient. 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 Okay. Artistic. 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 Mindful. Artistic. Mindful. Number five is artistic. That's correct. Yes, Charlie. Artistic. Mm -hmm. And number six is uh, mindful. Somebody said mindful. Mindful. Okay. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Whoa. Thanks a lot. Okay. So it's almost six o'clock. We have one last thing to do in the agenda. It's just gonna take me 15 minutes or no more than 15 minutes to cover the last thing, which is the schwa, okay? Okay. So, um, I don't know, I just wanted to suggest if you guys wanna stand up for a second, I need to stand up, okay? So I'm not, okay. Stand up. I'm not used to sitting on the butt too long. Okay, you guys wanna stand up and share, go ahead, bro. Okay. If anybody has a banana there, you can eat it. <laughs> Charlie, no, I... Charlie, did you bring a banana? Okay, good. Let's carry on. All right. So thank you very much for the listening. Now we're going to move on to the listening builder, the disappearing schwa in the fast English part. Okay. The disappearing schwa. Okay, so how was the listening? Did you like the listening? How was it? How was it? Good. Yeah? It was good. Yeah. It's good, right? That's right. Okay. I'm glad you liked it, guys. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm also glad that I found a way to connect the audio because I was like stressed out. Like, how am I going to get this to work? How am I going to get this to work? You know? Mm. I was thinking, I'm just going to read everything, you know, but nah. That's not it. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to move on to talk about the listening part where it says the disappearing schwa. Okay? Okay. The disappearing <laughs> schwa. Just a sec there. Disappearing schwa. It's the schwa sound. Okay. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to read this for you, and then we'll discuss some examples. Okay? Okay. Okay, good. In fast speech, the schwa, this symbol here, Sound can disappear from the middle of some words. It usually disappears before the sounds L, N, and R in longer words. Before L, traveler, traveler. Traveler comes traveler, traveler. The sound disappears there, okay? Something is happening there. Is it me? Is it me? I think no. It's Marius. Marius uh, headset has a problem with um. Oh yeah. With, and it's, yeah. Oh okay okay. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, that's a headset problem. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Before the letter, before the letter N. Uh, let's see. Personal. Personal becomes personal. So the letter. N here in the A, that turns into a schwa, and before the R, uh, for instance, generally, generally, becomes generally, okay? Sometimes the whole syllable disappears when the two consonants on either side of the schwa sound are the same. For instance, library becomes library, and probably becomes probably, probably, okay? So what... Well, basically, what is the schwa sound? The, the schwa sound is the most used sound in English. Is that symbol over there that I have over there for the uh, logo in the academy over there, up there? That's mm -hmm. the schwa, okay? Mm -hmm. Why did I pick it? Because it's the most popular sound uh, in English. It's, it's, a, it's a vowel sound. It substitutes vowels. It replaces vowels and not consonants, okay? 
They can totally. replace one vowel or several vowel, vowels, etc. Okay, so um, um, it's a very it's very useful when we use it in sentences. Okay, okay. So here it says, uh, "Reading the listening builder." Look at the phrases in bold. In the sentences below, underline the schwa sound. After trying, after trying, different, sorry, that sound again. It says here, after, uh, so listen, we're going to listen, and then you have to underline that schwa sound, okay? okay. All right. Okay. 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 Let me go ahead and uh, this time, let me, I, let me pull up the audio this time, okay? All right. Okay, just a sec there. Bear with me a moment. Bear with me a moment while I look up this uh, player thing. Ah, uh, here it is. I found it. Okay, there it is. You can actually share your 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 player, you know. And now I can play the CD the CD tracks for you guys. So 2.9 is going to be track 21. Okay, let's see. 2.9. One. After trying so many different things, I wanted to do something that was, well, a little fun. Did you guys hear that? Yes. Did? Okay. Yes. Okay, good. Let me let me just play it again. So what's the objective? We have to underline the schwa. Where is the schwa sound in the bold words? Okay. In which word is the schwa? 2.9. One. After trying so many different things, I wanted to do something that was, well, a little fun. Okay. It's different. In different. There you go. It's going to be in the first, in the first E. Mm -hmm. In the okay. first E and in the second E, please. In the first and second E, with different, okay? Two. Art therapy was mainly a medical term as it was used for patients recovering from traumatic operations. Okay, let me repeat that one again. Art therapy was mainly a medical term as it was used for patients recovering from traumatic operations. Okay, great. Recovering. Recovering. Thank you. So let's go with patience. Patience. The schwa is going to be in the letter I E. Don't worry. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this here on the on the screen for you and underline the other one. Okay. We got a baby there. This baby is it? Yeah, it's my baby. I'm sorry. Okay, that's fine. Okay. All right. Let's see. Okay, good. So let's move on here. Okay, so here we want to underline uh, the word patience. The, the, so it's P-A-T-I-E, where it's the E-I-E. -I -E, we're going to underline that, okay? And recovering, you want to underline it in the second uh, syllable, in the second E, okay? Recovering. Recovering. Okay, so how does this work? How does this work? Let me see. How does this work? Let me just uh, see if I can uh, illustrate it for you guys. There is a board here. I did not know that until this week. A board. This is my board. So here in the first one, it's the word different, right? So we had the word different. Okay. And... There you go. Okay. And um, you guys know how to draw here? Sign dibujarno. Yes. Yeah. Oh, here it is. Now I found it. Okay. So here, here you're going to have uh, different. You're going to have it here. Okay. Normal. Okay. No, no, no. Hold on. This one. Ah, here. Okay. There you go. Here, de friend. 
Different. Okay? Different. 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 That's it. Different. Two schwas. Yes. Two schwas there. Different. 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 That's good. And in the next in the next one, it's patience recovering. Patience, patience recovering. Okay. So here. I forgot how to do that thing again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here it is, man. I got it, man. Okay, patience <laughs> is going to be going to replace two vowels. Patience. The T patience. is going to sound like a shh sound. Okay, patience. Okay. And recovering, recovering, in the word recovering, we're going to put it here. Patience. Patience. Yes. Recovering. Okay. okay. Good, 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 good. Not bad. Let's go back to the audio. Back to the audio. Okay, good. Getting better. Next one. Three. While today's art therapy is definitely similar in that people are using it to cope with stress, it's no longer just a medical thing. Again? Definitely similar. Today's art therapy is definitely similar in that people are using it to cope with stress. It's no longer just a medical thing. Okay, good. Let's go back to the board. Okay, here we go. Back to the board. Okay, so the word here, what word do you think it was? Definitely. There you go. Definitely. 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 There you go. Definitely. Definitely. And similar. Definitely similar. Similar. Okay. Similar. Let me go dibujar uh, this thing. Okay, the squiggly line. <clears throat> so where do you think the, the schwa is going to be here? The last E. Oh, very good. Very good, Coca. So we don't say definitely, right? So we say definitely. 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 And we have similar. Similar. Here, similar. Right? Yes. So we're not gonna say simi, similar, sim similar, similar, similar. That's it. Okay, good. Back to the audio here. Oh my God. Here we go. Let's continue. Four. I think this is particularly interesting because coloring books have become one of the most popular forms of mindful meditation. Okay. No longer just a medical thing. Four. I think this is particularly interesting because coloring books have become one of the most popular forms of mindful meditation. Okay, let's go back to the drawing board and back to this thing here. Okay, and the word was particularly interesting. Particularly, particular. The interesting, interesting, particularly interesting. Okay, where's the schwa here, fellas? In particular, uh -huh. uh, per particular, the second A. The second A. Awesome. So there's the schwa before the A, right? That's right. Okay. And in, and where's the schwa in the second one? The second E. Absolutely. Interesting. Interesting. That's right. Interesting. You want to go here with this one, Coca. Interesting. Interesting. And this E oh, disappears. This interest. Interesting. Oh, okay. interesting. 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 Can you guys say interesting? Interesting. 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 There you go. So it's not interesting, right? That's right. It's interesting okay are we good okay good let's go back to the audio let's see okay five and the next time you're in a cafe a library or even on a train take a look around you'll probably see somebody coloring okay let's take that one again five and the next time you're in a cafe, a library, or even on a train, take a look around. You'll probably see somebody coloring. 
Okay. Okay, let's go to the board again. And let's put that one on the board so we can see it better. Boom, boom, boom. Next one, it says a library. Okay. Library. A library. library. Okay. Probably. And probably, right? <laughs> probably. Good. Are you guys still yeah. alive there? Or are you too quiet? I see más bulla cuando están acá. Yeah. Okay. okay. We need your coffee. <laughs> yeah, you need some coffee, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Library. Library. Yep. Where is the schwa? Probably. In the A. All right. Good work, Coca. Library. And, Library. and probably? The, the same word, A. Absolutely. The same uh, letter. The same letter. The same mm -hmm. A letter, probably. Library, probably. Okay. Good work. Let's go back to the player thing. Six. Of course, traditionally, coloring was a children's activity. Six. Of course, traditionally, coloring was a children's activity. Traditionally, right? Mm -hmm. Traditionally. Okay. Let's, let's share that one here. Dun, 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 dun. Pizarra. Here we go. All right. Back to this board thing here. Tra traditionally. 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 Okay. Traditionally. Traditionally. Where's the schwa here, guys? The A. Okay. That's right? Tra yep. Tra Before the R, right? Before the letter R. Uh, tra no, 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 no. The, the last one. And the last one, too, right? Uh huh. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah, over here. Yes. Traditionally. Traditionally. Okay, so this one before the R, and this one before? N. N. The letter N. Okay. All right. This one before mm -hmm. the letter L. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this one disappears after the letter R. Mm. Okay. And definitely, again, before the letter N. N. Okay. And similar is, it says here, sim similar. It would be, similar. it's not, it really doesn't say here before the letter M, but it disappears. Simo similar, 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 similar. Right. No, it's there. I'm sorry. It's there. Similar. Okay. Similar. In this one, patient, patient. Here we got recovering, recovering. And here we have different, di different, different, different. Different. This this one. Uh, there's a one of them disappears. This one here disappears. Different. Okay. Different. Different. And in the library example. In the library example. We've got it here, right before the R. Okay. And okay. in, in probably, probably, probably this disappears. Okay. There you go. Okay. Okay, good. So the schwa sound, very important sound. How do you produce the schwa sound? The schwa sound is produced um, like this. Uh, can you guys see me now? Am I there? No, not yet. No. Okay. No, Just, not a yet. Just a sec. Ah, okay. Now can you see me? <laughs> yes. Yeah? Okay, good. Yes. Thanks a lot. So the schwa sound is going to be produced like this. Ah. 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 It's just to uh, open ah. up your mouth a little bit and ah. 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 That's it. Ah. Ah. It's a very uh, relaxed sound ah. Ah. that we use ah. in English. That's it. Okay. Ah. Very good. Okay, guys. So that covers the part of the book that I wanted you guys to do. No. For today? No. Okay. So.
let's go back to the agenda here, okay? Just a sec. See it here, here, and back here. It should be here. Okay, good. We're back here, right? Okay, so we worked on our listening and we talked about this term, right? We covered the book activities we wanted to cover and we discussed the schwa sound. The schwa sounds. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So I think we've uh, completed our agenda for today, okay? So okay. what are your takeaways for today? Let's discuss our takeaways. Today we talked about what? Let's see. What is well being? Okay. Okay. We discussed that. Um, the test, the te that's going to be your homework. Okay. You're going to take the test, and next week you're going to talk to us about your results. Okay. Here is okay. the link uh, to take the test. When you take the, the when you click on it, it's going to take you to the test part. Okay. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, we talked about vocabulary, deal with, prioritize your workload. Uh, we talked about well-being and to cope, show the initiative, take the initiative, set and establish goals, take the initiative, persevere, persevere. Um, you guys talked about quiet time and what are the causes of stress and we learned how to understand attitudes uh, with this vocabulary, right? I found it unbearable. If you ask me, is the best. I'm not the biggest fan of. I'm sure some people love. And we, we used it in, sure in talking about this. Love, right? you, but I'm not a really big fan of him, you know. I'm sure some people love him. Hi, Stuart, are you there? <sighs> Okay, now he's gone. Yes, ma'am. I'm here. <laughs> okay, how are you doing? You're kind of quiet during the session today, huh? <laughs> I apologize, but actually, I could just listen in the class. <laughs> okay, good. Thanks a lot. Okay, so what are your takeaways, guys? What are your takeaways for today? What are your takeaways? Oscar, go ahead. Takeaways. Uh, in my case, uh, the schwa sound. Uh, I I am under, understand uh, uh, better uh, okay. the, the 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 position in in some some words. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Okay. Good. That was great. And anybody else? Thanks a lot, Coca. Anybody else with takeaways today? Okay, let's see who else is on the line here. Mario, Lucy, Stuart, or Marielos. Any takeaways? Uh, okay, in my case, um, the quiet time is very important for me because you can uh, do a lot of things, um, learn another one, like coloring books or origami is so nice to do something like that too. I tried once, but I couldn't do it. I prefer to color in my books, um, listen music, uh, read books, or watch uh, any kind of program that can help to, to be, um, to take out the stress, I think so. To relieve the stress, relieve. Yes. Mm -hmm. Relieve the stress. Okay, so that would be uh, the lesson for today. I guess Mario and Lucy have their phone, their microphones out. Um, Stuart, any last words there? Here, uh, here. Can you hear me? Okay. <laughs> any takeaways for today? So, actually, I think that the listening podcast will be good because. Uh, today we had a uh, different accent, a different uh, British accent, so it was really good. And about the short sound, you know, this is something really important for us to improve our pronunciation and, 
if you know the word speaking. So good, it's okay. Really good. Yeah. <laughs> All I got was the schwa sound because there's a lot of interference there, bro. Okay. But thanks a lot. Appreciate that. Okay. So thanks a lot for, for joining us today on this session. That's the homework for today. I'm gonna send this PowerPoint to your um to your WhatsApp group. Okay. And I hope you guys uh, yeah. make the test, and I'll see you here next time. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Thanks a bunch. Bye. You guys, be safe. Bye. See you. Bye bye. Be safe. Bye. -bye.